Come on now. Ye seek trouble? Don't. It'll point you. Slower. Don't you look so at me. Gonna try to charm him? Did the witch give ye lovage? Not from here, we think. He's bound to come back, isn't he? Let it go. Tis the hunger. Makes me head spin. Who will protect us poor from the cutthroats? Gonna try to Who I am? Whoa there, Roach! Did the witch give ye lovage? Aye, she did indeed. Didn't ask much for it either. Maybe we should pay her a visit. How'd you get there? Path past the pond. Follow it till you reach Slower. the Slower. Round that, and head right off the path into the woods. And keep straight. You'll know you've gone the right way when you pass an abandoned cart. Ought to be able to find the witch now. Come on! Know the price for their help. Blood. They're nightmares. Supposed to be a large stone near the pond. Slow now. There's the boulder. Now right, and on to the cart. The cart. Witch's hut is somewhere nearby. Take it easy. Miss! The cows are wheezing. Won't rise from the barn floor. Puss streams from her snout. Do I look like a dairymaid to you? No, miss, but you know things. Tis our last cow. None other left in the village. Rest died of hunger. Or soldiers let him off. Oh, we're as good as dead without her. I shall give you herbs. Mix them with water drawn from the spring at midnight, then make the cow drink them. But first, you must clean out your barn, thoroughly. Is that clear? Thank you, miss. A thousand thanks. Enough. I've had my fill for the day. Go home. She's in a foul mood. We'd best come back on the morrow. Watch what you say. She's quick to iron, apt to take revenge. Bitch is in a proper fury. She needs a man. Anyone home? Ordinary ointment. Nothing special. she run off to? Hmm. Managed to amass quite a book collection. A pentagram in chalk. Don't often see baubles like this in Velen. Powerful aura. Must be some artifact, or... So this is where she disappeared to. Well, well. Nice.
wondering how long it would take you, Geralt. I'm upstairs. Don't be shy. Greetings, Witcher. Mr. Spot. Hmm. Where? Hope you didn't come to Gork. No. To talk. Turn around and wait. Kira Metz deep in the heart of Velen. Thought you hated the countryside. I can assure you I do. Now more than ever. Heard a witch lived out here. Never would have guessed it was King Foltest's former advisor. I'm so pleased the world's still able to astound you, Geralt. I actually envy you that sense of wonder. Common in children, knights errant, and morons. Hmm, someone's grown irritable. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I believe I greeted you with a pleasant view. Now tell me what brings you here. So, bet you saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Admiring the unspoilt scenery? Or is it furthering the age-old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No. I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world? Don't you see what's happening? You mean the persecution mages now face? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime. Pursuing anyone with a whiff of magic about them. Witch hunters. Sound familiar? Murderers scouring the north from end to end. Burning books, hanging soothsayers, torturing herbalists. Picked a strange place to hide. I didn't pick anything. In the north, Radovid's men hunt sorceresses like fish in a barrel. Nilfgaard controls the south. Where was I to flee? Emperor does keep mages on a short leash, but he lets them live and ply their trade. Radovid and Emma differ in every respect except one. They share a deep hatred of the Lodge of Sorceresses. And I was a member. So how's it feel to be the village witch? <sighs> Horrid. No joy in having the boundless respect and trust of the local peasantry? <laughs> They'd respect anyone who could produce hemorrhoid cream. Been here a while, haven't you? Long enough for rot to set in. You cannot possibly imagine how much I detest this place. Changing the subject. Any news of your sisters from the Lodge? None. We can't know too much about one another these days. It's safer that way. Even tried to contact one another? I've wanted to many times. But I've no way of knowing who would answer. Or who might be listening. I'm looking for a certain young woman. Oh, really? Who? Apparently she quarreled with the local witch. <laughs> Someone's been feeding you horse shit. The girls around here are too stupid to quarrel with me. She's not from here. You're up to something, Geralt. If I'm to help you, you must tell me what's going on. Who are you looking for? Siri. Siri? Well... Now I understand the secrecy, not to mention the brooding, the furled brow. And you say she had some sort of problem with a witch? So you haven't seen her? I'm certain I haven't. But recently someone asked me about an ashen-haired woman. 
He claimed she would stand out from the peasant crowd. He say anything else about her? <laughs> Not so fast, Geralt. No humble plea. No offering for the witch. My undying gratitude. Good enough. It's nothing to sneeze at. But you've a knack for getting into trouble. I should probably ask for something more immediately deliverable. Oh, sod it. Don't give me that look. I know it's Siri we're talking about. It was an elf, this individual who asked about Cyrilla. No flea-bitten Scoia'tael slob either, but an elven mage. What was an elven mage doing in Velen? Well, I tried to ask him, of course, about everything. Of course. Oh, but you know how elves are. He asked many more questions than he answered. He say what his name was? He didn't. And he wore a mask. Very secretive all around, but I liked him. He was intelligent and composed. He say what he wanted with Siri? Only that they were to meet in Velen. He wished to know if she'd arrived before he did. He leave any message for her? No, but he asked that were I to meet her, I should lead her to him. So you know where to find him? Yes, he said he found a hideout in some elven ruins near the village of Midcops. I'll go there with you. Why? Think I'll have trouble finding this place? I've unfinished business with this elf. He promised me something, but he never delivered it. Besides, I know you think as I do, that she might be there. And I'd like to see Cyrilla too. Let's go then. Yes, let's. This is the place. Been here before? No. I was hoping the elf would return as he'd promised or else his waif would appear. At any rate, I've no idea what to expect from this place. Well, let's find out. Come on! Gavella Glan. That means... I, I thought they didn't exist. Feast your eyes on the non-existent then. Hmm. Got a navigator with them. A uh, what? Can you teleport us to the other side? I'd rather teleport us home. Do you really mean to follow them? Teleport. Hurry up. I'm not sure I like any of this.
Sarah. Stay calm. They're only rats. I hate blood. rats! Get them off! Ah! Lila is gay! Ah! Ah! Disgusting! Do you know the diseases they spread? Thank you. You that afraid of rats? Could have annihilated them with one spell. Fine, won't say anything. So what happened to you? There's something here. Something that distorts teleportation. I've no idea how they managed to get to the other side problem free. Wild Hunt's teleportation magic is different. Got specially trained mages for that. Navigators, they call them. They can have three helmsmen and a parrot for all I care. I'll not risk that again. Let's go. Wild Hunt got a good head start on us, but we still stand a chance. Have you gone completely mad? We must leave here at once. If you're scared, turn back. I'm gonna go on. Stop it, that's emotional blackmail. You'd really worry about me if I went on alone? You? I'd be concerned for myself. Then come with me. Just quick decision. Come on. Very well. Have it your way. How did I ever let you talk me into this ridiculous expedition? Gavella. Larana Lunet. That's him. That's the elf. Arvek Tva Lediv. What was that? An illusion? No. A morphotic projection. A what projection? Something akin to a post box for mages. Much safer than an ordinary letter which anyone can intercept en route to its recipient. Message was definitely for Ciri, daughter of the Gull, Laura Doran's heir. Indeed. It is what the elves would title Ciri. 
But what was the bit about the sign of her sword? A riddle? Yeah, not a hard one, though. Not if you know Siri named her sword Tireo. Swallow. Come now. Who aside from you would know that? Might have been the point. Your elven mage secured the passage, hid it so that only Siri could find it. He failed to foresee that someone like you would show up. Nevertheless, I think he was expecting uninvited guests. Made some preparations. Let's hope the Wild Hunt ran into some obstacles. Well then, let's go. Do you think following the Swallows will suffice? We'll see. An old elven port. Must have been how they got here by sea. I wonder how long ago that was. Careful. That oily yellow vapor is toxic. I hardly need instruction from you. I recognized the Volpine Mirage. He tried it out on a patch of mushrooms. Terrible idea. What happened? Well, he survived. And wounds heal awfully quick on young witchers. Come on. Like that silver. Was the water refreshing? Don't know what you're missing.
Swallow. Seems we're headed the right way. similar to that other pillar with the projection. Sirel, mi fordo sol eser fin. Sirel, mi fordo sol eser fin. Hensile. Monster. No, that's what Siri named her mare. Horse could apparently gallop like a demon. Hmm, <laughs> good name for a horse. So, shall we look for it? Gavella Glan. scribbled on with lime. Drawing of a horse. Clue for Siri must be. Exactly like the last one. Let's see what this does. Geralt! I don't know what you did, but it worked. Come back here. Look, they're opening! Let's go. Well, now I know what distorted my effort at teleportation. This very portal. And I know why I landed in that drowner nest. You should be pleased to emerge from the portal in one piece. And everyone still wonders why I hate to be teleported. We must try to activate it. I think that's a... Swallow. It worked! Come! Sure it's safe. Of course! The Elven Mage prepared this passage for Ciri. Come on now. Gavella Glan. It's grown awfully quiet. Is that bad? A bit like the calm before a storm. I have a bad feeling about this. Tyrael not recognized. Intruders. Destroy the intruders.
plan. And that would be that. I knew we'd manage. That's so? Make sure and tell me beforehand next time. My intuition's a fine instrument, Witcher. Don't underestimate it. I've some very good feelings about you, for instance. In several domains. Once you finally find Siri, what will you do? Any plans? Depends what she wants. Imagined it. How it will transpire. What will she say? What will she look like? No. I'm sorry for getting ahead of myself. At times I forget. We hardly know each other. It's certainly not enough to discuss personal matters. Not to worry. We'll get there. Teleport over there. We must activate it quickly. I have a feeling another golem's about to surprise me. Another swallow. Look, it worked! Come on. Look, we've managed to cross the bridge. This is where we saw the wild hunt. Great. Means they're way ahead of us. Come on. Gavella Glan. Wild hunt. Definitely. They destroyed the major sentries. They didn't come here for a friendly chat with the elf. Meaning you ever thought they might have? before they could attack. Shut up! S.I. Pisa! Mage from the hunt summoned it. Can you seal those cracks it's blowing through? They're too far. We must get closer. I shall shield us with Demetia Crest Surge. Stand at my side. Darian and I. Ready. Stay close.
expose them before they could attack. Shalaz! Esai Issa! Jama Doin Nilin Yama! Ren! Mage from the hunt summoned it. Can you seal those cracks it's blowing through? They're too far. We must get closer. I shall shield us with Demetia Crest's surge. Stand at my side. Them before they could attack. Shalaz! Esai Issa! Jada doin me! Ren! Shin Tavir! White front. Can you seal those cracks it's blowing through? They're too far. We must get closer. I shall shield us with Demetia Crest Surge. Stand at my side. Darian Annoy! Ready. Stay close. We must 
must close them! Want me to go? I'll do it! Just cover me! Just one more. Tale of power. Just don't faint on me. <laughs> now, in your firm embrace, not in your life. <laughs> Love to be able to say we could stay here a while and rest. I know, I know. We must go on. Block the passage. Maybe I can try. Leave it to me. Gavella Glan. Come, we might still catch them. Thanks for your help. Pretty tough slog. Uh, good thing I came with you. You'd never have managed without me, would you? Come now, admit it. Yeah, never. Come on, come closer.
He awaits us. Stay calm. Focus.
on straight, this looks like the elves' laboratory. Look, the elf left another message for Siri. Larena Luna. All right, let's watch this message. Sirel, this place is no longer safe. Do not tarry here long. Trust no one, and above all, beware the witches of Crookback Bog. Try to reach the place where last we were together. Where last we were together, not much to go on. Damn it. Perhaps it's best he didn't leave a clearer message. The Wild Hunt broke in here, surely they saw the projection. They searched everything, and if they had more time, they'd probably have torn the place to the ground. But that doesn't change the fact that we haven't learned anything. Not about the Elf, not about Ciri. Well, we know they were well acquainted, and traveling together. Wonder why they split up. Perhaps because the Wild Hunt was on the Elf's trail, and Ciri would be safer if they did. The Witches of Crookback Swamp. Crookback Bog. Kira, if you're hiding something... But... I didn't say... You know these witches? I've never met them, but I've read of them. In an old manuscript I found in one of the huts in the village. It mentions the village witches venturing into Crookback Bog at times, to liaise between the villagers and the crones, the ladies of the wood. The crones appear to be intolerant of outsiders, but they help the local folk. Apparently, they stop the spread of the plague in Vellum. Hmm. What's your take on this? I'd love to shrug it off as the nattering of so many old women, yet... Throughout my first fortnight in Vellum, I had horrible nightmares. Something was calling me out into the swamps. One night, I decided to enter the dream consciously. Render it lucid. I confronted the thing directly. It broke contact at once. Peaceful nights ever since. How do I find them? The swamps are vast. Dangerous. But they say the crones mark the way for peasants who wish to visit them. The manuscript mentions a chapel in Crookback Bog. And from that chapel, one must follow a trail of treats. Treats? Of course. They didn't read you bedtime stories at Care Morhen. All normal folk know that witches live in gingerbread houses poised atop chicken legs. I'll have to see that to believe it. Take the tome and read it. I... I truly do believe you'll find your Cirilla. All right then. As a start, let's look for a way out of here. Good idea. Why do we even come? What's this? The potion I gave him. Seems he saw a use for it. Drank it. Must have burned these notes himself. The hunt wouldn't have bothered. Meaning he knew they were looking for him. Herbalist. Strange. My medallion's trembling, but there's nothing here. What's with this wall? 
It's an illusion. I sensed it as well. I expected we might run into such things, so I brought this. Meaning what? The Eye of Nahalani. It dispels illusions. It's easy enough to build, so you're welcome to this one. It's bound to come in handy. And each time it does, you will think of me. Huh. Thanks. Simple, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Let's see where the passage leads. Do you feel that? A flow of fresh air from the left must be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. Wait, there's still the magic lamp. The magic what now? Lamp. The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. If I can find it, that is. Will you help? Yeah, I'll help. Splendid. Come then. Gavella Glan. We're certain to find something here. The sooner we can leave, the better. Looks like another damned riddle to me. Inscription here. Show me. Can you translate the inscription? I can decipher maybe a third, but that third doesn't make much sense. Give me a minute. I was never any good at the high variant of the Elder Speech. Hmm. All right. This might seem a bit literal. I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhymes. Just translate it to make sense. Four guardians, four flames. Standing proud in a line, the first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. <laughs> Sounds like a riddle, all right. All right, let's see if we can solve this. Wait. Something just happened. Mm-hmm. Behind that wall. A movement. Something wrong. Gavella Glan. Is it? What do you think? No inscription, sadly. Hmm. Sign of the gull. If I didn't already know where she was buried, I'd guess this is Laura Doran's sepulchre. Perhaps it's a monument to her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but... Most see her as a traitor to her race, who got her just desserts for marrying Kragenin of Laud. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping Ciri. Possible. 
this what you're looking for? Uh-huh. So what's it supposed to do? Hmm. I hope I'll be able to activate it. Let's leave this place, shall we? going. Last. But it was worth it, right? You learned something about Siri in the end. Something important. Do you intend to venture into Crookback Bog? You must tell me about it afterwards. Don't know that I'll get the chance. Geralt, there are two types of men. Those who see opportunity and take advantage, and those who forge the opportunities themselves. I've always seen you as an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favour to ask you. So, visit me sometime? I'll stop by. You can be sure. In that case, I shall be waiting. See ya, Kira. Come on. Stench.
Take it easy. <sighs> Could use a portal about now. Son of a goat! Ordinary fog, this. The odor. Metallic, almost. Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a lickin', strung him by his feet. Cooked them bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings, thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away.
What are you doing out here alone? We's not alone. We's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You look like a witch yourself. The w witches of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zemek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. He could still come back. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tits. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lassies in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How do you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Gran's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. You one of the witches of the swamp? I hear Crookback Bog. Witch? Me? <laughs> Nay, I've no broom nor owl and not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose, see? Gwen's got a lovely beak. Oh, you darling girl. Our oh, kids are so sweet. Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shat. Watch your language. They tell tales and tales, naught but tales. Just talking to the kids, asked them if they'd seen a young woman. 
I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. You're betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter and her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. Had about enough of this. Asked a simple question. You seen the woman or haven't you? Fear not, children. There's no to fear, Graham. He's only angry because he cares. Maybe Johnny knows something. I'll take him to Johnny before he goes barmy on us. Johnny's your invention, and you shouldn't be using those ugly words. To the hut. Go on now. You'll stand in the corner, I'll make sure you do. And you, stop scaring the little ones. Now go. Be gone! Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and strangers steal kids. Just got one question for you. Don't be asking no questions. You're a stranger. Not allowed to talk to strangers. Can we eat now? Soup with scratchings. You here? Says he's afraid of you. Stop scaring my kids. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails. Yuck. Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us, and we'll disappear. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so, and Gran knows lots. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you gotta do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. 
One, two, three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come. Found you. You can stop hiding. How'd you find me? I can see you. There you are. No fair. I'm supposed to win. Found you. You're the last one. Bet you cheated. Come to the cottage. I gotta tell the others I won. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promised, didn't we? Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once? When we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow. But Gran yelled at me, 
said not to talk to strangers, because then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Because he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, because Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. What are you on the Who said us? Hey, Pocky word, ugly. Don't cry, Yakna. Name calling's not allowed. Johnny's real, he must leave Prince. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside.
Johnny? Don't be afraid. You're a bucker? A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? You know the kids from the clearing well? Don't be afraid. Not gonna hurt anyone. What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. Damn it. Stay close to me. This the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb.
maybe he meant this bottle. A pack of pickled peppers by the pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life! Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. How do you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, cause word has it the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang, so loud it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me! An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word, but you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. No, oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me and I'm no bore. Come with me. Oh, 
Watch out! It's clear, not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazing, fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tale. You, it got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Can you take me to the grounds? Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No, she's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me.
Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all, beseech I thee, answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. Disturb our rest, woman. Someone speaking through you? Good looking and clever, too. Where have you been hiding, boy? So you're the three crones? Crones? Where'd you get such an ugly word, young man? Village bitches have been gossiping again. There's no limit to how jealous and petty humans can be. Do we look like crones to you? Go ahead, check. Touch me, white-haired one, where it pleases you most. Is it my imagination, or is this tapestry made of hair? Oh, he's got a sensitive touch. Touch me more, boy. Touch me more. Where do you get human hair? Never heard of the cutting. Round here, a young boy turns into a man when they cut his hair for the first time. Our sister weaves tapestries of this cut hair. If the weft is straight, happy's the fate. What if the weft's crooked? Then it must be unraveled. Is this a curse? You trapped in the tapestry? Oh, he's curious. We don't fall victim to curses. We cast them. <laughs> I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen-haired girls. The young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like him. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon us, white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we may be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. I'll talk to the alderman. 
but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, you mistress, right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. The dagger. For you. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear. Stone shear. Stone nose, stone ear. 